Hi, I'm Jared George with the Red Power Team. In this video, I'm going to be covering how to go into the Pro 700 and clean up data from last season. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that before we go and start harvesting this season, that we go out and we delete last year's data, that way we don't have multiple seasons. Especially for those guys that are trying to keep track of their data, it makes it a lot easier if we don't have past data from, from past seasons. So we're gonna go in and show you guys how to do this. Also, if you guys are doing variety tracking, uh, this is a step also that you would use to come in, delete out last year's data, and then when you bring that variety information in, it's gonna make it a lot easier to find your variety information for this season. So we're gonna take a look on the Pro 700 on how to delete the data out. So when you start the Pro 700 up, it defaults to our run screen one. We're gonna hit the back tab, and we're gonna find, from our home screen, we're gonna find our data management icon and select data management. When you select data management, as we look across the bottom, we have import, filter, and then we have our delete tab. So we're gonna select the delete tab along the bottom. And then as you can see up top, we have data type, we have a grayed out delete button, grower, and then farm, we can't select on farm. So what we need to do, if we are coming in to this season and you guys aren't doing variety tracking, and all you want to do is delete last year's yield data, but you want to keep your grower, farm, and fields, you can come in here and we can delete out just last year's task data or yield data from last year. So I'll show you guys how to do that in this step. So we're going to come in to our data type and we're going to drop down. And in the data type pick list, I'm going to find the task option and select task. From the top, now you can see it's populated more options. We're gonna drop down, choose grain harvest for the operation, and then we're gonna choose grower. And at this point, if I wanna wipe out all of my last year's data, but keep my grower farms and fields, we've ensured that by data type, we're only gonna delete tasks out, not our grower farms and fields. So if I choose all, what that does is that selects all the growers that I've created, and then that selects all the farms, all the fields, and then all of my task data. So again, I'm not deleting my grower farms and fields, I'm just getting rid of last year's harvest data. So in this case, I'm gonna select delete, and it's gonna come up and it's gonna make me confirm my deletion before, uh, before going forward. So yes, I want to delete my last year's selected records, so I'll hit yes. And now you can see I cannot select any of last year's data. If I jump back and go to my run screens and go to run screen 2, I can see that my grower farm and field is still here, but I deleted last year's coverage and, and yield maps. So for those of you that have taken your planting data and we're going to be doing automatic variety tracking and you've taken that into desktop software and exported it to your USB stick, one thing that you need to do before we put that USB stick into the Pro 700 is we want to power the Pro 700 up and we want to go out and we want to delete last year's growers. And the reason that we want to do that is if you were to take that USB stick it's going to have your grower farms and fields on that USB stick. And in your Pro 700 in, the, in your combine, if you already have all those grower farms and fields, you're going to end up making duplicates and it kind of becomes messy trying to find that variety data. So I'm going to show you guys how to come on into the Pro 700 and delete out last year's growers. So we're going to come from our home screen, we're going to go into the data management. Along the bottom, we have our import, we have filter, and then we have delete. So I'm gonna select the delete tab. 
we're going to drop down our data type. So I just previously showed you how to get rid of last year's tasks. In this case, I'm going to select grower. And now you can see that it populates my grower option, or at least lets me select it. So I'm going to drop that down. And then at this point, I can put an X next to me and red if I wanted to. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and I just want to get rid of me and I want to get rid of red. And I hit enter. And now what that does is that says all growers. So grower, farm, and field. So everything underneath this is going to be deleted. But that's okay because you're going to take your USB stick that has your grower, farms, and fields and you're going to insert that and it's going to repopulate those grower, farms, and fields for this season with this year's variety data. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit delete and then I'm going to confirm deletion. Now you can see I cannot select a grower. I'm going to hit the back tab, go to my run screens, click on run screen 2 and now you can see grower farm and field is blank and I have no new growers. Now if I were to power down shut the Pro 700 off, take my USB stick that has my variety data on it, insert that USB stick, start it back up, the Pro 700 is going to load that new data, new grower farms and fields and variety information into the Pro 700. And then we can go into our variety tracking setup video and you can see how we can go in and verify that that data, that that variety information has been loaded into the Pro 700. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you find this video helpful. Make sure and check out more video content on our YouTube channel or on redpowerteam.com. Thanks again.